Supercell offers an official API developers can use to fetch information from Clash Royale's servers. In this tutorial, I show you how to work with it using the Python programming language. The first thing you need to do is go to the Clash Royale developer website. Here you must create an account for yourself by pressing the register button. Now type in your name and provide a valid email address. I am of course using a dummy email address for this video, but you must provide a valid one. At this point, you will receive an email containing a verification link. Once you press the link, you will be redirected to this page where you can specify the password you want to use for this account. So type in a secure password here. And now you can log into your account. Once you're logged in, click on this drop down menu and press the My Account button. To be able to use the API, you will need an API key. You can create one by pressing this Create New Key button. And now give a name to your key, a simple description, and lastly, your IP address. This is very important because the API will be accessible to you only from this IP address. If you try accessing the API from a different IP address, you will get a HTTP 403 forbidden error. Next, press the create key button to generate the key. You can now open the key to see what it contains. This large string is what you will need while programming. So copy it and paste it in a file. I'll call this file mykey.txt. Alright, let's write some Python code now. Feel free to use any code editor of your choice. I'll be using vi. Let's start by loading our key into this program. So I'll call the open function to open the mykey.txt file. And then call the read function to read its contents. It's usually a good idea to remove any trailing new line characters in your file by calling the rstrip function. Okay, we now have the key. Next, let's create a variable to store the base URL of the API. As of January 2019, the URL is api.clashroyale.com slash v1. Now to actually make HTTP requests to this API, you will need to import urllib.request. The API's responses are JSON documents, so to be able to parse them, you will also need to import JSON. Now let's see what endpoints the API offers. So click on the documentation link here. We currently have five different endpoints available to us. The clans endpoint allows you to search for clans and also get detailed information about any clan. Similarly, the player endpoint offers various details about any player you specify. The rest of the endpoints too offer similar functionality. For now, let's use the slash cards endpoint because it is really easy to use. It gives you detailed information about all the cards that are available in Clash Royale. So in the script, Let's say our endpoint is slash cards. We can now go ahead and create a request object by calling the constructor of the request class. As arguments, it needs the complete API URL, which is nothing but the base URL plus the endpoint. We won't be passing any query string parameters to this URL, so say none as the next argument. And as the last argument, you must create an authorization header. Its value must be the string bearer, followed by your key. The request is now ready. To execute the request and to get a response, you must call the urllib.request.urlopen function. 
and then call read to read the response. Furthermore, call the decode method to specify that the character encoding of this string is UTF-8. At this point we have the JSON document returned by the API. Let's see what it looks like. So just pass it to the print function. And now if I run the code I get this. This is hard to read, so I'm going to redirect this to a JSON file. And now I can open the file in Mozilla Firefox, which offers this beautiful interface to interact with JSON documents. As you can see, this document has a key called items, whose value is an array containing details about every single card that's available in Clash Royale. It's worth mentioning that pretty much all the endpoints return similar JSON documents. So if you familiarize yourself with the structure of this document, you will have no trouble understanding the other documents. For example, this name field here currently specifies the names of the cards. But in case of the clans endpoint, the same field will specify the names of the clans. I hope you get the idea. Okay, let's get back to our program and start parsing the JSON document. So first call the load s function and pass the response to it to convert the JSON document into a Python object. I'm gonna remove this print statement now because it is not necessary anymore. Let's try printing the names and the maximum levels of each card now. So create a simple for loop to iterate over the data items array and call the print function. Here we are going to be printing two values, a string and an integer. The string is going to be the name of the card and the integer will be the max level of the card. That's it, let's try to run the code now. This looks perfect. As you can see, the maximum level for the Goblin Battle card is 8 and the maximum level for the Arrows card is 13. This is very useful information I think. Let's do something a little more complicated now. For the sake of an example, let's try to generate a list of clans that have at least 20 members each. So obviously we will need to use the clans endpoint. I'm going to start by changing this variable to slash clans. We are interested only in clans that have at least 20 members. To specify this condition, you need to create a query string. So just say min members equals 20. Okay, now before we run this code, we will have to change the print statement. A clan doesn't have a max level field, so we can't have this here. Instead, let's use the members field, which specifies the number of members it has. I'm also going to show the clan score of the clan. And the clan tag. This tag will help us get even more information about a clan. I think I'll also change this string to make it more informative. You are of course free to format it any way you choose. And now if I run the code, I can see this large list. Lots of Korean and Chinese clans here, very interesting stuff. But now let's say we want to know who are the members of a particular clan. For example, who could be the members of this Chinese clan? It has 50 members, so let's see who they are. To be able to do that, you need this tag, which is hash 9pcglrpq so copy it and here in our code remove this query string then add a slash and then paste the tag and then type in slash members this hash in the URL needs to be escaped so replace it with percent 23 okay 
Now all we need to do is change the print statement again. The name field we don't need to change. Next let's print the number of trophies the player has. And we can also print the arena they are currently playing in. The tag field again we don't have to change. Lastly update this string so that it has appropriate labels. I can see all the players of the clan. I can't read the names of these guys but it looks like most of them are in arena 1 or 2. You now know how to use the Clash Royale API. To learn more about it you can always refer to this documentation. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts or feedback do leave a comment. Thanks for watching.